It's Tom and Todd's Face Off on WRKO.com. Two great events for you. There's a Super Bowl coming soon, and of course, Face Off comes right now. Oh, and it's the Patriots Tom are in the Super Bowl. And Todd, WRKO.com. To important fact. Tim Thomas, the MVP of the Boston Bruins Stanley Cup team, decided not to attend the team's visit to the White House because he disagrees with the size of the federal government. Was he wrong in not attending? I think on balance he was. I don't, uh, obviously, Tim is not only, does not, not only has his right to express his opinion, his opinion is right. So two for two for Tim Thomas. But there are two dimensions to this. An invitation from the White House, it, it's not an endorsement of Barack Obama or anybody who's there. And two, your employer is going. This is a plus for your employer. So you do it for the team. And the team is obviously yeah, the a, Boston Bruins. It's a field trip. As an organization. It's like if uh, Harry Sinden called and said, uh, you know, we're going to the Science Museum. Bus will be leaving at 1. Anybody wants to go can come. All right, we're going to play in Washington. We happen to be there. And we've arranged for a little get-together for the White House. Tim Thomas knows what's important, and that's winning hockey games not being a photo op for politicians. So he doesn't go, who cares? I say, power to the people. Mitt Romney has seen a 22-point lead in Florida dwindle down to a 10-point deficit. It's over for Mitt, isn't it? Well, it could just be over for Mitt, or he could be the inevitable candidate who's got the best chance of beating Barack Obama, and we can't quite decide. And, uh, you know, that's why they have this process where you go one state and then the next week another state. And it'll work itself out. He could become the comeback kid a la Bill Clinton because everybody started to write his obituary. And that might be a little early. I have never seen such a volatile thing, though. It's unbelievable. So Santorum really won Iowa. Mitt wins big in New Hampshire. Takes a big lead to South Carolina and gets demolished. Who the heck knows what's going to happen in Florida? It's unbelievable. Great theater. Though. Pretty exciting, isn't it? Obama's latest campaign ad states that he helped create 22 straight months of job growth, added 3.1 million jobs, and cut taxes for 95% of Americans. Is any of this wrong? Uh, actually, all of it is technically right, and it's a perfect demonstration of uh, Disraeli's observation. There are lies, damn lies, and statistics. You can take a statistic and manipulate it in any fashion you want. My enduring question of the president and the candidates, what about the 15 to 20 million Americans who are unemployed and desperate? That's what I want to talk about. This is a little bit like going to the dentist and she says, I'm sorry, I don't have any Novocaine today, but we'll pull that tooth anyway because you have no need to worry. We can now pull your tooth and you'll have 22% less pain than you would have 50 years ago and you're supposed to celebrate. That's what these statistics are like. It's a load of dung on the heap of dung in the midst of a lot of misery. Nobody's buying it. Don't forget, there's a Super Bowl coming. <laughs> oh wait, you already said that at the beginning. <laughs> That's it for this week. We'll see you next week with another face -off. Always original on Tom and Todd. <laughs> Tom and Todd, WRKO.com.